All right, people, I've got a new heater for my fish tank. It's the Fluval T200 digital heater. And it was a birthday present for my mum. She knew I wanted this heater, so she got it for me. I actually got quite a few cool things. If you want to see what I got for my birthday, I'll show you at the end of the video. But yeah, for now, let's talk about the Fluval T200 heater. Now, I'll keep it real, people. I technically didn't need a new heater. Like, as far as I can tell, the one I have right now actually works fine. But this T200 does have some really cool features, which is why I want it now although my current heat up works fine i did actually want to upgrade it because it's a cheap one you see my original heater that came with the tank it actually broke one day and when i say it broke i mean it literally the bottom part just fell off i don't know what happened but it was broken and of course it was a little emergency like straight away i you know i turned the heater off and then i took it out luckily there wasn't any electrical like current or anything like that the fish were completely fine but the heater was broken so i went to pets at home and bought a new one and at the time i was broke so i just bought the cheapest one i could get which was like about 10 pounds and like i said it's been working fine but i've always wanted to upgrade it pretty much the moment i bought this heater and now's the time you know i gotta keep it real man that so far everything i've upgraded on my tank like the filter for example or or the light it's all been worth it they've significantly improved my tank in regards of water quality and you know the light and that so yeah the heating was definitely one of the last compartments i wanted to upgrade so i'm really excited about this and yeah in general for me personally i believe it's always best to just spend a little bit extra money for the better equipment especially when it comes to things like your fish tank because you are looking after live animals and that i mean you don't have to upgrade everything in one go you can just do it over a long period of time like i am but yeah upgrade equipment is definitely something everyone should always think about now with these t series heaters you get a few different sizes um you can get the t50 the t100 the t150 the t200 and the t300 and the numbers pretty much reflect the amount of liters you can have for that tank so for my one because i'm a 200 liter I bought the T200. Now I'll keep it real, I was a little bit tempted to buy the T300 because when I was looking at it on Amazon, the price difference was literally a pound. It was probably on sale or something, but in the end I decided on the T200 because, you know, energy costs are rising and all of that. But if you want to get one of these heaters for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description that will take you straight to Amazon where you can get one. Now inside the box, you pretty much get the heater fully assembled. You don't really need to do anything um, apart from take the little plastic thing off from the plug. You know you have the guard at the bottom which looks really cool it has the fluval logo on it which makes it look a bit more you know prestige and you also have the suction cups on the side to stick on the glass and right on top you have the dials to set the temperature and yeah the look itself especially if i compare it to my current heater it's just so different it looks so much more prestige and oh it's just amazing but yeah i didn't want this heater just because it looks good it actually has some really cool features and one of the number one features it has is the auto turn on you see the moment you take this heater out of the water it turns off automatically and man i needed that so much you see a few months ago um i was cleaning my tank and the water level you know naturally went down and i can't like, i had a lot to do that day so i wasn't really thinking too clearly so i you know i didn't turn off the heater i completely forgot to turn it off and we're talking about the cheap heater by the way and at some point it was above the water and i just didn't realize and i went downstairs to fill up a bucket of water i came back up and i saw the thing was smoking i don't think it was the actual heater that was smoking i think it was kind of melting the rubber grips that it has for the um, suction cup and that i don't know what it was all i know i started freaking out and I, I put the water in as fast as i could obviously i turned the heater off as well but it was still hot so like i put the water in as fast as i could ran back downstairs you know got some more water and went back up to fill it up until it was underwater again and this is what i mean with i didn't really think clearly there's so many other things i could have done i mean i could have just pushed the whole heater underwater because there was water in the tank or i could have taken it out completely but at that time i was freaking out people and i just ran downstairs to get more water to put it under water again luckily it all worked out fine nothing happened to the heater um it's still working now like literally just now i saw the orange light turn on but i'm also glad i've got this upgrade now now another cool thing about this heater is that it's digital and the sensors are digital which should keep the water temperature you know fairly stable and should stop these massive fluctuations of temperatures that sometimes happens with the cheaper heaters i mean sometimes when i put my hand in the tank for whatever reason 
I can immediately tell that the temperature is not at the temperature it's supposed to be at. But when I look over to the heater, the orange light is on, so I know it's in the process of heating, but it shouldn't have really gotten that cold in the first place. Do you get what I'm saying? So with cheaper heaters, you do get the fluctuations of temperatures, but because this fluval heater is digital, it should fix that problem. Now, of course, I only put it in now. Um, I'm probably going to post an update or an updated review a few months down the line where I can properly report back on whether this heater is working great and everything. But having said that, the reviews are very positive online, so I'm not too worried about that. Fluval is usually very reliable. Now, I mentioned this before, but visually it looks nice. And also, I really like the fact that it has this little light that stays on constantly. You see, when the light is red, that means that the heater is on and it's heating up the water right now. And if the light is blue, that means the heater is off. Compared to, you know, my current heater and most of the other heaters out there, when they are off, they're just off and there's no light whatsoever. And I don't really like that because even when I'm looking at my old heater right now, it's still in the tank right now. And I have no idea if it's working. The only time I know it's working is when it's actually heating the water, which is where it has this little orange light that turns on. But if this heater was broken, I would technically have no idea unless if I physically check the water or if I check the um, thermometer and stuff like that. So yeah, the fact that the fluval light is constantly on even when it's off, it has that blue light. All I have to do is, you know, check it, look at the light and I know it's working fine or at least I know that it's on. You see, another thing that happened to me before was one time I was doing a water change and I unplugged the heater and after I finished the water change, like I plugged the filter back in but I forgot to plug the heater back in and because there's nothing to indicate the heater heater being on I just didn't realize that whole day because obviously if you forget to plug the filter in then obviously there's no flow in the tank you notice that straight away if you forget to plug the light in then there's no light both the heater there's nothing and the only reason I actually realized I forgot to plug it in is because I had to go into the cupboard the next day you know where all the plugs are um, I actually had to get some scissors out and I saw that the plug was unplugged if I didn't do that the next time I probably would have gone into that cupboard is for the next water change so yeah I've seen a few people People complain about the light but I definitely welcome the light 100% all in all I really recommend this heater it looks amazing it works great I mean of course I'm gonna have to wait a month or two before I can give my proper opinion on how this works I'll definitely post an update so make sure you like and subscribe and all of that yeah on first impressions this heater seems so so cool definitely a cool birthday present man thank you mum but yeah anyway people let me show you what else I got for my birthday because I got some really cool things so the first thing is like I collect Pokemon cards as well so I got a crown zenith elite trainer box I'm actually going to open this for my other channel. If you want to check out my other channel, by the way, it's called Chilling with Scoops. I do stuff like open Pokemon cards and that. By the way, I forgot to mention the rest of these things are not like fish related. Sorry about that. Um, they're just, you know, for me personally and that. And um, I've got this as well, but this is for my sealed collection. Look at that. It's got a Pikachu card and some figurines and that. This is so cool, man. Oh, I also got this. My brother got me this. It's a dog tag and it's got like Goku and Vegeta on there because they're brothers and that. If you know, you know. Also, because I'm a Harry Potter fan, um, my mom got me this. It's like a Hagrid terrarium type of thing where you make your own Hagrid's heart and then you plant some plants. And ah, it's really cool, man. It's like an arts and crafts thing. I got these Funko Pops, Harry Potter ones as well. They're quite cool. I also got this controller. A PS5 controller, my girl bought me that. It's got like a camo pattern on it. That looks really cool. Oh, I love it. And I got like a onesie and a t-shirt, but they're in the wash right now. And yeah, that was it really. I have no idea if anyone's even watching this part of the video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you check out one of these two next?